everyone welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me this week is free printable week and this kit is from someone new that i haven't tried out before it's called life with Myra. myra i'm gonna leave the link down in the description box i'm not sure how you pronounce like her name if it's Mayra or Myra but I really love the colours it's like a nice spring yellow kit I know we're not quite in spring yet but it's been super sunny here in the UK for the last few days and it's just got me into a really lovely spring mood so I decided to go for this grey and yellow kit I have turned my brightness down a little bit as someone in the comments last time I used a light coloured kit couldn't really see the kit which I really totally agree with you or you could actually see in that plan with me was just my black writing so I have turned the brightness down a little bit so hopefully you guys can see the colours okay. So I started with the thin strips of washi at the bottom and now I'm just putting the date dots onto the date covers. I thought these were like single squares until I went to peel it up and it's actually just one long strip which I'm totally fine with because now I don't have to try and match them up and make them really straight. I'm trying to think back to see if there was an option to choose the size of the kit that you wanted so sometimes you'll see there's a happy planner size or an Erin Condren size I'm pretty sure there wasn't it just come in this one size but I've had no issues with it fitting in my planner so if you're using happy planner it will fit and if you're using an Erin Condren I think it will fit as well so going in day by day I started off on Monday by using a page flag that says day off and then I put a little happy pop it down and I just wrote yippee who doesn't say yippee when they have a day off work there's lots of page flags included in this kit. Some of them are blank, some of them are patterned, and some of them have words written on them. I then moved on to my to-do section and I filmed my bullet journal video yesterday. So it's all set up and ready for March and I'm really excited to share the video with you. I then started to edit the bullet journal video. I haven't finished it, but I thought I would, you know, give myself a good running start by starting to edit it on the Monday after I filmed it. And then later that night, I filmed this plan with me. My children had some homework so I just used that on a little quarter box sticker and then underneath there I put down a short checklist and wrote down what they had to do. Then moving on to Tuesday, I used one of the half boxes that says today's goal and I really love these boxes because then you can have kind of one focus area that you want to get done on that day. So you might have lots of things to do, but there's just one thing that's like really important or one thing that you, no matter what you want to get done that day. And for me, it was the voiceover for this plan with me. Underneath there, I used one of the pop it mobile phones as I needed to text my sister as my niece had an operation on Friday and I just want to check up and see if she's okay. And then I used some of the strips of washi that come with the kit and just put two pieces of washi and then a half box that I flipped up onto its side to mark down that I wanted to work on everybody's orders today. So for that, I also used a happy mail pop it. I then put my full box down and a plain page flag as I want to upload this plan with me. Somebody was also asking about the pens and where I get them from. You can pick these pens up from most stationery shops, but I tend to just buy them online in like a big pack because I go through them quite a lot. But I will leave um, a link to the uh, place where I get mine. I think I got the last lot from Amazon and I think it was cheaper. So uh, I'll find that link and I will put it in the description along with the link to this kit. And then for Tuesday, I put down a TV little thing as me and my daughter always watch American Horror Story on her lunch break. And then moving on to Wednesday, I want to spend the morning designing. So I just put that on a little quarter box and then to fill up some space or some time, I just used a, half, a full box. Moving on, I put down a half box with a little poppet from the feeling sheet and then wrote to finish editing my bullet journal as well as doing the voiceover. I also wanted to create a to clean section so I just used a to clean header with a short checklist and I just wrote things down on there that I want to get done throughout the day. I've also got some laundry to do as well so I just wrote that down and put a little poppet with the washing machine that comes from the home life sheet. 
We've had so many issues with our internet. It's been taking me so long to upload a video. Like it will probably take three hours just to upload it onto YouTube without publishing it. So we have switched over our internet connection and then we got a problem with it. So we've got the Sky Engineer coming out on Wednesday, hopefully to fix it all so we don't have to wait so long for my videos to upload. <laughs> And then for Thursday, I'm going to be listening to a podcast while I'm packing up all of my Puppet Squad packs. And I've also got a Sims video that I would need to do a voiceover for, for my other channel. I put another one of these Today Goals half boxes down and just write down to upload my bullet journal video. I put a full box down and then right at the bottom I used one of the icons with the envelope on as I want to post, post I don't know where that came from, post my PR packs. So for Friday I used the page flag that says shop on it as it's my new release day. So I just wrote down new release and the new release is these Game of Thrones washi. They're actually the banners of all the, the different people that are in Game of Thrones. I'm super excited because Game of Thrones come back onto our screen in April and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I've also got work on Friday so I used another quarter box and wrote down work and then to fill up most of the day I used a full box. We've got a TV program on and I can't remember what it's called, I still can't, it's I think it's like the next series of Titans or it's along the same kind of thing as Titans if anybody has watched that on Netflix so we'll be watching that, I just can't actually remember what it's called and then we're just going to have a chill out night so I just wrote down chill out night and put one of the large happy puppets. So for the weekend, I put the weekend banner down and we'll be sorting out the garden most of the weekend. So I just put that down on a full box and I used one of the poppets from the floral sheet. Next up, I put a quarter box down to maybe upload my Sims video if I get that done on this Thursday. And then I created my little to-do section, which I will kind of work along either Saturday or Sunday. I've just put it down on Saturday though. It depends how far we get with the garden. And then at the bottom there, I put a piece of glitter washi, which comes with the kit. And I wrote down to go and visit my parents' house and I use the family time poppets at the bottom. So for Sunday, the first thing that I put down is to film next week's plan with me. So I wrote down film plan with me and I used a piece of washi and then the large planning sticker comes with a kit. I put down a laundry poppet as I will need to fold all of the laundry. And also I want to have a really good hoover through upstairs. So I just used the hoover poppet from the home life sheet. Next up, I put my full box down and then on top of there, I like to get all of the lunch boxes ready for Monday. So I put down one of the packed lunch puppets and just wrote down lunch is ready. And then the last thing that I like to do on a Sunday or that I get my children to do on a Sunday is get their bags all ready for Monday morning. And then flipping it over to the sidebar, I use another full box up at the top. I really love this honeycomb pattern and the colours. I just really love this kit and it's a four page kit so it's absolutely massive. I've got two important build juice so I decided to put those in my sidebar this week. I created a next week section and then I've got so many of these page flags left. I decided to put them down on the side and then just draw a little arrow on there. And then underneath I put a glitter header and then my two habit trackers in my sidebar at the bottom. I'm probably going to get these muddled up and start trying to mark off where it says build you at the top because normally my habit trackers are at the top. So I've seen a lot of posts lately on Facebook especially where people are really frustrated or they're feeling a bit down because they can't get their spreads to look like they want them to or they don't look as nice as what they think that they should do. So I thought it would be a 
kind of a fun comparison to go back and have a look at this week in my past planners. So this planner here is from two years ago. And then the next planner was last year's. So you can see the difference in just what one year kind of made. And then this is this week's spread. So I've definitely picked up a few little tricks that I tend to lean towards when I'm doing my weekly spreads. And if you guys want to see like my top five I don't want to say tips because I don't actually know what I'm doing and there's no right way to plan it's just how you like to plan but if you guys would like to see maybe my top five things that I like to do in my planner then let me know and I will definitely try and film that for you but it was kind of fun to look back and see how my planning style has developed over the years so that's kind of three years worth of spreads but that was it for this week's spread. I've still got lots and lots of stickers left which I could probably use for another spread especially as there's two weekend banners. Hope you guys have enjoyed this week's plan with me. If you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely week so far and I will speak to you next time. Bye guys!